In today's gaming news, we have a whole lot of stuff to talk about regarding the PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox. On top of that, PlayStation 5 has some VR hardware and tech news, so make sure you stay tuned because we are jumping right into it. Here we go, back at it yet again with another video. Good day guys, I'm Cham Chong, and if you're excited to play video games all weekend long, make sure you smack that like button real good. And also, in the comments down below, let me know what games you are playing this weekend. Let me know, I wanna see what you guys are playing, then I, I don't know what I'll play, I haven't really decided yet. But anyway, let's get to the gaming news, because there's actually quite a lot of really cool stuff to get to in today's video, but the first one is some really awesome news for people out there looking forward to purchasing a PlayStation 5 when it's released, most likely next year, and well, it's got to do with the PlayStation 5, some hardware, including a new virtual reality headset. Yes, a brand new PSVR headset is on the way. As we already know, the PSVR has been around since 2016, and it's pretty good. It's not the greatest VR headset out there, and it has become a little bit dated, but the good thing about it is, it's actually going to be able to be used with the PlayStation 5 when it does come out. However, some news has come out, some details have leaked, about a patent, and that is that a new PSVR headset is on the way for the PS5. Now, the thing to note down is this headset won't be ready for the launch with the console. It's probably going to come out a year or two later. We're not exactly sure how much after or how long after the PlayStation 5 is launched that we'll see the brand new PSVR 2 headset. But the thing is, you'll be able to use your old PSVR headset in the meantime, bring that over to the PlayStation 5, and then eventually, if you want to, upgrade to a new PSVR headset that's made with brand new tech and it's probably going to be a whole lot better. Now what we do know so far regarding this new PSVR headset is that it could be costing around 250 US dollars. It's going to support 2560 by 1440 resolution at 120 frames of the refresh rate which is really really nice. On top of that a 220 degree field of view gives you five hours of battery life and eye tracking support and that's just really awesome to hear all that stuff is going into it. So it's going to be most likely wireless. It's going to give you a better resolution, a better refresh rate, and the degree, the field of view is going to be a lot, lot better. And then on top of that, yeah, the eye tracking, that part really gets me. I know that not everyone is super interested in the PlayStation VR or any VR tech, but if you guys do want to know more about this, because I'm not going to get completely into all the nitty gritty regarding it, because there is quite a lot to go through, and it is an interesting read so if you guys do want to check it out it is linked down below in the description check out the whole thing because it's definitely worth just looking into because it does look like the next vr headset from playstation is going to be amazing it's going to be launching as i said after the playstation 5's initial launch in probably december or november next year but anyway yeah just to quickly wrap that up the headset will cost probably around 250 us dollars then you factor in the 300 to 400 us dollars you're going to buy the new console it's going to run roughly come out to close to around 700 or so, maybe more dollars if you want to get everything, including a game or two, especially if you want to get a VR game on top of just having a regular game that you want to play with your PlayStation 5 once it comes out. So it's going to cost you a fair bit to kind of bundle all that together, but I'm pretty sure if you don't end up getting a PlayStation 5 at launch, when the PSVR second edition or second generation headset comes out for the PS5, that's when they'll most likely bring out bundles. Sony are probably just going to make really awesome bundles that are going to save you 50 or $100 and package a couple of games in there too. So it depends really when you do end up getting this new console, the new generation, and if you're going to wait. So let me actually know in the comments down below, will you be getting a brand new Xbox and a brand new PlayStation, like the Xbox... Uh, whatever they end up calling it and like Xbox 2? No, I wouldn't, I, whatever they end up calling it. And then uh, the uh, the uh, PlayStation 5. So let me know if you're going to get them at launch or if you're going to wait until like 2021 or something like that. Uh, it seems like so long away, but also so 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 near. Anyway, uh, that's it for that piece of news. Now we're moving on to some other stuff. And it's some really quick news regarding a PlayStation and Microsoft because they are both attending Gamescom 2019 in Germany. Now I've been to Gamescom many, many years, like I think I've been four times now, and it is amazing to go. If you ever have the chance to go to Germany, go to Cologne, go to this place at this time of the year, make sure you have to go to Gamescom because it's one of the coolest, craziest gaming experiences ever. But the cool thing is, with both of them being at Gamescom, we could potentially be hearing more news about the next generation consoles, the Project Scarlet and the PS5. So it is definitely exciting times. 
And especially with the, the, the dates nearing closer and closer, and with Gamescom being actually a pretty good spot to reveal a lot of hardware and software, if you look at past years, just the track record of it, we could be hearing some news from there. So we're not sure exactly if they're going to reveal what the consoles look like. I'm pretty, pretty sure that won't happen just yet. They might wait until early next year, maybe around March to do that. But it would be exciting to see what else they reveal. Maybe some new games that they didn't show off at E3 or something like that for the future. But yeah, it's exciting times nonetheless. But now we move on to our next gaming news report on today's show. It's for all the Call of Duty fans out there because, well, um, if you guys know, they did show off some gameplay for Modern Warfare, the brand new Call of Duty game. It's just called Modern Warfare. But y you guys already know about that. They did a thing with influencers. They had a bunch of Twitch streamers, uh, Call of Duty YouTube. YouTubers and whatnot playing the game and it wasn't the greatest way to reveal it in my opinion but now they've actually revealed completely raw modern warfare gameplay in 4k this is like actual gameplay that's in 4k it doesn't have some face cam of some influencer streamer or anyone like that it doesn't have any talking it's just the straight up gameplay and honestly this looks much better than what I saw in those Twitch streams and everything like that that they showed off, of, I don't know, five or so days ago, whenever it was. But that's the thing. It, I think they went with it for a, in a weird way, in a weird direction. So it's cool to see it the traditional way of just showing us gameplay rather than seeing some pro players and whatnot play very Twitchy where you might not be at their level. So it doesn't really necessarily give you or show you the experience that you'll be having. But this is more kind of realistic to what we will be playing. And it's cool to see that. So I am kind of more hyped about Modern Warfare now after seeing this than the initial launch with uh, the Twitch streamers and everything. Let me know what you guys think about the new Modern Warfare, the new Call of Duty. It does look pretty good. I'm definitely going to give it a go especially now that it's going to have crossplay, That's one of the key things that has gotten me more on board with this game. The fact that we'd be able to include crossplay, And uh, yeah, that's definitely got me more excited. If it didn't have that, I don't know if I would be as excited. But anyway, speaking of crossplay, we do head to our next news report on today's show. And the game modes have been revealed for Gears of War 5 that will support crossplay between Xbox One and PC. Obviously, this is a Microsoft exclusive game. So yeah, it's Gears Gears of War, it's the biggest, one of the biggest, I should say, franchises for Xbox and Microsoft. But here are the game modes that will be available to be able to play cross-play between PC and Xbox. You will obviously have the multiplayer regular versus mode, which is awesome. But then on top of that, you're going to have escape, horde mode, and even the campaign modes. That's going to be straight up beautiful right there, but to be able to play uh, multiplayer, be able to play Horde, and now campaign just through crossplay. I think that's amazing that they're doing this, and I love the direction that the gaming industry is going in. It's allowing everyone to kind of play together, but yeah, it's definitely exciting to see this kind of news. Um, and I'm definitely going to play Gears. You guys know I'm a massive Gears fan. It was the first truly online game I played, Gears of War 1, back on the Xbox 360. That's the game I just spent. Whew, I think I only had Gears 1 for a whole year before I had any other Xbox title. Now, something else to note down about Gears 5 and having cross-play and everything, I want to play on PC because I feel like with shooters now, I've actually transitioned to being able to play better with a mouse and keyboard than a uh, thumbstick and a controller. But the thing is, my muscle memory of playing Gears for so many years, uh, that rhymed. Anyway, the muscle memory for playing uh, Gears for so many years is like it's there and it's built into my hands and my brain and whatnot. So like, I don't know if I'm going to go and play on a mouse and keyboard because I'm better with most shooters that way or a game that I just know off by heart playing with a thumbstick. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a challenge to decide which way I go with that. But I think I'll just get it on PC anyway and then figure it out from there. But moving on to our final news report on today's show. And it's something you guys probably already know about. It's GTA 5's next major update and it's for GTA Online because it is truly, truly massive. On July 23, which is just in a few days from now, the game is receiving one of its biggest updates. It's a completely brand new location in the game. It's called the Diamond Casino and Resort. This is exactly what it sounds like and what we already know. It's a casino and resort. So finally, we'll be able to gamble in the game, which is kind of crazy to think about because I don't know how many of the actual players that do play this game online 
are 18 or 21 or whatever the gambling age is in your country. It's 18 here in Australia. But it's kind of crazy because, yeah, I know there's going to be a lot of like 12 year olds gambling and playing that. And it's not probably the best thing in the world. But yeah, I'm definitely excited for it. I remember playing the uh, casino in GTA San Andreas like all the time when you go to Los Venturas. And now to actually have it in GTA 5, it's pretty cool. It's not in the location I expected it to kind of be in, but hey, it is what it is. And I'm still going to probably hop back on GTA just to try it out. So I probably have to update that game. There's probably like a 100 gigabyte update that I haven't done in forever. But hey, that's GTA for you. Massive updates, slow loading, and just a pain overall, but still an awesome game after all these years. Let me know if you guys even still play it. I haven't probably touched it in months and that was only for like a day at that time but yeah anyway guys that does it for today's gaming news hopefully you did enjoy it if you did make sure you smack that like button real good also click that subscribe button if you are a brand new viewer and if you're already viewing this video and you are subscribed make sure that notification bell is on so you get notified when my videos are out but that does it for today's video hopefully you did enjoy it and if you noticed it's a bit of a new background i still haven't built my shelves for behind me probably gonna do that in a couple of days i'm really lazy and ikea furniture sucks to build i just ugh, i can't be bothered doing it i'd rather just it came made but it is what it is anyway i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye